In this video, we are going to learn how to solve a single objective optimization problem, which is usually abbreviated by SOO or SU by using Mode Frontier software. We are going to solve a bivariate single objective optimization problem with the aim of maximizing our objective function. We will use a classical optimization algorithm, namely Quasi Newton BFGS algorithm, with the maximum function evaluation of 400. The initial design will be created by using a DOE method, uniform Latin Herpicube method with 10 DOEs. We will create our SU mode frontier project. We will run it. We will get the results, analyze the results by looking at different tables and creating different charts. So in order to make the workflow faster, I have created an initial setup of our problem, which I saved as multi-model project. So I open this project. So here we see that we have two inputs, a calculator node as a solver and one output. What do we have to do here is we have to complete this workflow, run the project and get the results. So first of all, our input variable, the lower bound, let's set the lower bound to minus pi and the upper bound to pi. We do the same for this, the other input variable. So we have our output variable. We have to insert an objective node. So we search for objective node. We have the objective node here. We insert it here. We connect our output to our objective node. And we know that our objective node should be maximized. It's already maximized. And click OK. See the cross sign is removed. What do we need here is an DOE configurator or a scheduler of the DOE to create initial DOE. But let's look at uh, the calculator node to see what is what is expression of our objective function. So if you look at our edit calculator expression, you will see that that's a mathematical expression of our objective function. It's the two inputs giving us the outputs. So that's the expression. So calculator node can be a solver in addition to other software, for example, Excel that we saw in the previous video. So we need a scheduler to create our DOEs. Scheduler start, we search that, we connect it to our solver, double click it. First, we need to collect our optimization algorithm. As we said, it's an BFGS algorithm. Here we have our BFGS algorithm. Maximum number of design evaluation, as we said, we're going to have it for 400. Then we need our DOE configuration. There are some conflicts between the table and the workflow, so just fix this. And we can use the DOE table here that is already created for us. Add design algorithm, and we said we need, we're going to use the uniform Latin Herpic cube with 10 designs created DOE table. So the DOE table is created, our algorithm is selected BFGS, and the workflow looks complete now and we can run the project. So let's run the project. We have to save it. It'll run the project. And here we can see the information again and the design IDs that are going to be created. Let working wait until it finishes and completed now and we can go to our design space. So here in our uh, the tree structure, we can see that we have design table, the DOE table, the design table. If we look at the design table, we have all the values we need, but we need to create a chart to get a better look at our results. So let's create a history chart of our objective. Let's see how we evolved through the iterations of the optimization algorithm. Here you can see from the chart that you have a several local optimals and one global optimal. In order to select one uh, true optimal, then we can right click, mark designs, go to mark Pareto designs and select only real. And here you see that the design ID 242 is our optimal solution. If we zoom at that, right click it, and we get more information about the specific design ID, which is, uh, which is our optimal results. We get the inputs, the output, and a very handy chart that you can get information from that. 
so let's get back to original view by pressing R now we want to create a scatter 3d chart to see the relationship between the inputs and the objectives so input 1 as X axis holding shift input 2 as Y axis and Z axis is our objective function so let's look at this one here we see that the same optimal solution is already marked here by holding control we can rotate and see it is the true optimal objective function for this specific design which was designed 242 let's go back to original solution and let's go to our design table so if you want to compare the results from this design from this algorithm BFGS to another algorithm we can create a table from the results of this algorithm you go to the design table we select all the solutions control A right click create table and let's name it BFGS so now we have a table created BFGS and we can create charts from this table which is which will be unique uh, for this algorithm let's delete the other charts and by selecting this table create the same history chart and scatter 3d chart So these two charts here you can see that is created on if we move this we can see it's created on BFGS table. So now let's try another algorithm, optimization algorithm, and compare the results with BFGS. So we go to our workflow, we need to change our scheduling. The DOE will be the same. But the algorithm will be different so let's select for example let's see let's select the most algorithm so in order to be comparable to bfgs most algorithm should be able to run for 40 function evaluations so 40 function evaluations of most of will be equivalent of 400 function evaluations of bfgs so we create this so now algorithm is changed you can see it's here mosa and we can run the project with the new algorithm and see the results how it changes so here you can see that it's still running now it's finished let's arrange the items horizontally so our new table our design table appended by most algorithm but how do we select the results from most algorithm so we go to our design table right click and select designs based on category so if we select category and we select mosa so here you see that results from mosa are selected now mark designs or we can create table from the marked designs in the table and name it mosa So if we look at MOSA here, we will only have the designs which will create it with MOSA algorithm. And we see here, you see, we, there are 40 designs since we had 40 function evaluations in our setting. So now we can create a new chart based on this table. History, objective, and the same 3D scatter chart based on MOS. So if you look at here at this uh, tree structure, you will see that we have a scatter 3D on BFGS and a scatter 3D on MOSA, and the same uh, history on BFGS and MOSA. So now we can compare these two 3D scatter charts to see the 
uh, performance of PFGS and MOSO algorithm. So if we select the optimal solution on the real here, we select it, let's rotate it to see this is the real optimal solution with the MOSO algorithm and if we look at this one and rotate it to BFGS, we see it here. So let's look at the design tables for BFGS and MOSO and compare the optimal solution. Let's mark or select the optimal value here. And if we go to BFGS and mark, select the Pareto. So the objective function is 1.106 e to the power of 1, so it's 11 for BFGS, and for MOSA it's 10.4. So that means BFGS performed better than MOSA. It found a better objective function in terms of maximization, which is 11 because it's bigger than 10. So here we can compare these two algorithms. You can just copy these two charts and paste it in your report. The table's the same. You can do by copying the table, copying the table, and uh, pasting in your report. Let's summarize this video. We learned how to solve a single objective optimization problem with different algorithms, an evolutionary algorithm, and a classical algorithm. We learned how to compare them, create different charts, create tables based on different results on different algorithms, and export our results to create a report for our project.